just amazing. You know, our country having just 4% of the population of the world holds 42% of the guns that are privately held. That's just extraordinary. The number of people out of 100,000 in this country that will die this year is three point something or the other. It's crazy to say a point something when you're talking about a human life. You take the other 22 industrialized nations in the world and that number is under 0.2%. It, it's just extraordinary. But, but equally as extraordinary beyond the fact that 35,000 Americans will die this year at the hand of a gun uh, is that New Jersey has done relatively well, comparatively so. Interestingly, in New Jersey, only 12% of us, 12% of our 9 million, own a gun. That's, that's second lowest in our nation next to Hawaii, which I think is 6%. Uh, and, and relative to th those numbers as they you know, equate, it, it's almost like a math actuary problem. Uh, as much as 485 people are a huge sum of individual lives to be lost, that's the number in New Jersey, the last we have those statistics in 2016, and that compares favorably to the other states in our country. Now, why is that? Is it because our kids or our people play less video games, as some would suggest, have anything to do with this? Well, of course not. Uh, is it because we're so great at delivering uh, mental health services to those as opposed to the rest of the country? Of course that's not the reason either. It's because a combination of two things. We have less guns, and because we have better, more reasonable laws. And that's what today is, is an extension of that. Some of the things that the majority leader touched upon, you know, 38 of the last 62 mass shootings, 38 of those individuals showed signs that they were gonna act in such a nefarious way. Of suicides, which is an important part of this, 80% of those who are ultimately successful in being self-destructive show whether it be ideation, uh, a, a penchant to harm themselves, or, or even an unsuccessful attempt. So, so what does that have to do with the particular piece of legislation that I'm speaking to, the, the, the extreme risk protective orders? 80% of individuals who will die at the hand of a gun will know, if they didn't take their own lives, the person that pulled the trigger on the other end. So therefore, who is in a better position to know as to whether or not an individual may act in an extreme manner? That would be, of course, a member of their household, uh, someone who lives with you. And in the way that we define the member of that household, it would go to things like a former love interest, a prior spouse, someone that you share a child with, as well as those that live under the same roof together. I want to talk about something that's personal to me. Uh, each and every one of us look at every victim for these last 20 years as something we should take personally. Uh, but this particular concept of this bill arises from uh, the tragedy involving Gabby Giffords. Uh, all of you know her as a heroic congresswoman. I know her as the, the wife of a friend of mine, Mark Kelly, uh, who he and his brother grew up uh, in the same town I did, went to the same high school, and dreamed of one day being astronauts, which of course we know that piece of the story. As it related to that tragedy in Tucson, Six individuals died and 13 were, were seriously injured, Gabby being one of them. But the parents of that individual perpetrator were able to find and take away his shotgun, but when they went to local law enforcement, there was nothing that could be done, notwithstanding their misgivings and concerns, to take the Glock away from him that ultimately resulted in the perpetration of those crimes. So here in New Jersey, when a member of those households believes that an individual is a danger to themselves or others, they can go to local law enforcement and say, I have this concern. Local law enforcement will, will help them fill out a sworn affidavit which will then be submitted to the courts that if for probable cause the judge finds that that individual is indeed a, a, a risk to harming himself or others, can have him surrender or her whatever weapons they may have, firearms. Once that individual is served, they have to return them or, or turn them in within no later than 24 hours. If they don't, very importantly, that individual is now in contempt, 
has committed a fourth degree crime, assuming they're convicted of it, uh, and most importantly, the police are able to effectuate a limited search warrant to remove those weapons. Now, to be fair to the individual and to our Second Amendment rights, that individual that has that judicial order can, has 10 days, and in 10 days, there'll be a, a full hearing. And a judge out of the Chancery Division and Family Court will decide, again, whether or not, based upon a preponderance of the evidence, that individual is a danger to themselves or others. And if that's the case, that those weapons are away from that individual for, for a full calendar year. Now that individual, if they get the right counseling, if they're able to redirect their lives in whatever direction that has to happen to take away that risk, can reapply to the court and have their, their weapons returned to them. And conversely, if a whole year goes by and that individual doesn't change and that risk is still in effect, then the courts have the latitude to extend it even beyond that one year. It, it's always good to look in hindsight, uh, you know, easy to look in hindsight, but this has got such great application to what happened in Parkland. We know that based upon the, the scores of warning signs about this individual, in a, if a like law was in effect in Florida, that family that bought this troubled young man into their household would have had a way and a pathway to have those weapons removed. Well, that's what we're doing here in New Jersey, and I'm just so proud to join the majority leader and, and all of you uh, in, a, in a bipartisan way, hopefully, that we can continue to go forward and be a leader on reasonable laws that, uh, that will protect innocent victims. 485 is 485 too many. So joining now in the states of, of California, New York, Washington, and Oregon, who have passed similar laws, I thank you in advance for, uh, for your support.